Hi everyone in North America, my name is Dennis Smith and I am all the way south in Adelaide which is about as far south as you can get on planet Earth before you hit Antarctica. I am a uh, light painting photographer, I'm an educator, I teach light painting. I've been light painting for crikey, nearly 13 years now which is feels amazing but um, it has been an incredible journey for me. Light painting has been, light painting has been a sanctuary for me. It's been an incredible help uh, with just a massive help in my life. It is a way that I escape from daily life. It helps me with my mental health. It helps me with my physical health, getting outside. Um, but one of the things that light painting has been for me over the years has been an amazing way to connect with people, not only locally here in my own country, but all over the world. And Roger is a guy who uh, I connected with quite a long time ago and we've never spoken, we've never met, but there is a joy about this man that, that is undeniable and when he asked me to come and have a chat to you about uh, his exhibition, I leapt at the opportunity for a whole bunch of reasons and look, if for no other reason, just that uh, it takes an immense amount to have the have the courage to to take your art, put it in print, and make it available for people to see. Um, that is not the internet. So that's the first thing. Fantastic, Roger, that that, that you've printed out some of your work and and, uh, and sharing it with the world. So what I would really like to do as a as an experienced light painter, as a teacher of light painting, but but all the things I've talked about is to to have a bit of a chat about some of the work that that you're going to see here at the exhibition. And I've um, I'm just going to scroll through some of the images. I've already obviously had a look at them, but um, what a buzz! Uh, look, I know Roger hasn't been light painting for a huge amount of time, but as you're about to see as you walk around this exhibition. I mean, the very first thing to remember is that everything that you see is actually created using light painting in real time. And, and uh, as, I'm, as you're no doubt about to find out, is that light painting is literally painting in three dimensions with light. And so everything that you see here in this exhibition uh, is Roger dancing around <laughs> with a light painting tool. <laughs> And when I look at these, just so many things jump out. Um, look, the very first thing is just how varied this work is. There's so many different, there's so many different techniques going on here. There's blade work, there's orb work, there's, there's so much going on. But I close my eyes and I look at these images and what I see is Roger moving through, moving through space and time with different colors and textures and bits and pieces. There's some technical aspects I can talk about with the work. I mean, I have seen literally millions of light paintings and these, these images are technically great. I mean, they're exposed so beautifully. Roger's just used some gorgeous color, some gorgeous shape. There's a control. There's, in some of these images, there's a beautiful balance between dark and light, which is what light painting is all photography, but specifically light painting. We're talking about bright light painting tools in dark environments. We're layering colors. We're moving the light through three dimensions. It's not like, it's not just up and down and left and right. He is moving towards the camera and away from the camera. And so we think about that when we look at these. Um, there's a vibrance to some of them, but he's been restrained in many of them in the way that he's just kept it back and kept it delicate compared to the darkness of the background. Um, there's an image here I'm looking at. Uh, you'll see it when you look at the exhibition, which is a swirl. There's a, it's like a tunnel coming away from the viewer. And I really would love you to do this as you're walking around the exhibition. When one of these images grabs you, and the beautiful thing is that there is such variety that you don't need to expect joy from every image. I think that's really important to think about. So when you're walking around, there'll be one or two of these that will just jump out at you as something that connects with you. I really would love you to pause, stand in front of the image, and just breathe into it. Let it, let it envelop you. I know I'm not actually sure of the size of these, but 
I'm looking at the one that looks like a tunnel. This one, this one made me stop the first time I saw it and it's make, made me stop now. And what I'm envisaging is falling into it. At the end of the, the image, there seems a soft light at the end of the tunnel. What is that light? What am I looking at and how is it making me feel? Um, you know, I think, I think what happens as not only the creators of art, but as the viewers of our art, is that we tend sometimes to rush past things that we enjoy. In this age of social media where we're scrolling so fast, um, I, try very, I try hard uh, as often as I can to just pause. If something catches my eye, pause and look at it. Have a think about the intent of the creator. Have a think about what it might mean to me. What made me pause and look at it? And with Roger's body of work here, it's what I love is that there's such variety of technique, color and composition is that there's something here for everyone. And I really, really applaud Roger for for uh, not only for having, you know, having <laughs> the creativity to go out and create such volume, but then to uh, make the selection and then present it to you, the viewer. So, yeah, that, that's. That's how I feel. And, and, and the other thing is he's gone outside. As light painters, we forget sometimes to head outside and, and actually have a go at, at creating some stuff outside. It adds a whole level of complexity. And I love it. So, um, yeah, I, I, could, I could literally go through these images for quite some time and rave about each one. But I think, uh, I think what, what I've loved looking at them is, yeah, just, just knowing the joy that it has brought uh, Roger as he's out creating them. Uh, I want to again applaud him for the courage of actually presenting the work. That is often the hardest thing is, is that um, I know light painting has been a, a, a large part of um, Roger's uh, management of his own mental health and I, and I applaud him for that. And it, it can't be understated the joy that light painting can be for the creator. I know it does for me every time I go out and light paint and I know for thousands of people in our community and I really, really hope that for you as the viewer, looking around this exhibition, knowing that they are real, actual 3D light painting images, I hope that they bring you some joy. Um, yeah, and I applaud you, Roger, again, for your courage and your bravery uh, and thank you so much for sharing your art with the world. Peace.